Okay, folks, I am here with a short video to answer a question. Uh, do you still get aggro from using the begging skill? And for this, I'm going to open up a window here where I'm just going to have the begging skill. Nothing else, so I don't accidentally aggro this guy. Uh, and I'm going to beg from him. I already did a test beg where it says, Bouncer Fug says, Here, Crump, take this and leave me alone. And it says, You have begged one copper. So... Crump stole coin from Bouncer Fug. It says I stole coin. Well, that's interesting because I didn't steal. I begged. Okay. So let's try it again. Oh, it says I stole another coin. And there he goes. So, again, I'm trying to see if this is going to possibly uh, create aggro. I'm getting some skill ups and I'm getting copper. I mean, and okay, I've got eight copper. I really want to see if for sure that I'm getting a copper, but it looks like I am. Nine? Okay, so I guess I can just sit here and generate income <laughs> one copper at a time by begging off of this guy. Uh, and it, it seems to be working every time. I don't know if it'll work in combat. You know, the uh, the old classical macro where you stop fighting but so far he keeps asking me to leave or telling me to leave him alone but he's still giving me a copper every time attempt at begging was unsuccessful but my skill is at 241 and i figured doing this test with a level 59 uh, warrior was going to be more productive than a newbie character because with a newbie character, your skill is going to be one to start. So it's going to be taken forever to build up. And we want successful begs uh, to see, you know, how, how many times I have to beg before he gets angry. And this might not necessarily be a very good test. Because uh, I'm, we're not fighting, you know. And if I consider him... He considers me warmly. So maybe this is just the kindest, gentlest, most patient ogre on the planet. Uh, and who knows, maybe he just doesn't have any more copper to give me. Because it said I stole the copper from him. It's almost like a, a weird pickpocket that everybody gets. I know if you're a rogue... You use pickpockets instead of begging. So it is possible. See, we had this conversation in the guild. Uh, asking if they removed the aggro. The aggro aspect from begging. Because you used to occasionally get aggro. Like uh, violence <laughs> aggro from, from begging. And I don't know if it was because you failed at begging and they got mad and they killed you or what. I don't know if maybe it was a, a charisma thing. If your charisma was too low and they would attack. But I remember this back in the old days, you know, early 2000s. I was a high elf in the high elf city and... I was begging off of one of the guards, which are supposed to be lawful good like paladin types, right? Holy pious. Of course, he killed me. <laughs> he killed me for begging. It just uh, makes you wonder, is evil actually better than good? This guy's supposed to be evil. He hasn't tried to kill me yet. Or it could be some other thing. I don't know. Uh, of course, if he does attack me, um, I've got nine levels up on him. I would probably survive, okay? I don't even uh, need to have a cleric merc with me. Because uh, I'm, only, I'm only begging, I'm only testing this. So, I don't know. There's Someone said that maybe uh, 
they removed the aggro aspect from begging and so it's completely meaningless now but i never heard or saw anything about that so i'm probably going to put this video up and ask you guys does anyone know and can anyone maybe share the link the url uh for the patch note when begging the aggro from begging was removed is begging still a viable solution to get extra aggro you know um is because that's i i have it on any of my warriors any of my tanks i mean i have it on every character just because i like skilling up things you know <laughs> i try to skill everything up uh but I, I definitely have it in my tanks to where, you know, the uh, I'll show you what the uh, button looks like here. I call it my begging button. And I do, like, you know, timer just to show you that it's been clicked. Attack off. Do ability one, which is begging. And then attack on. So you're attacking again. You're not even missing a beat. And then it does ability nine and seven, which I believe uh, seven is kick. And nine is taunt, okay? So, I I have that. But here, I'm just wanting to beg from him. Just to see if he's going to get mad and attack. And he hasn't so far. So you would think if it does work, if it does have aggro, that he would have attacked by now. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say that the aggro from begging has been removed. Maybe it's different when you're actually in combat i don't know so let's try to go to bouncer uh prud over here let's see if maybe bouncer prud attacks me so i got a copper from prud and he did say leave me alone okay but he didn't attack he didn't seem to care again said leave me alone but he didn't attack and i'm guessing that after begging for so many copper, I empty their inventory for begging. Maybe they only have a couple of copper on them. And I can kill them to respawn them, but I'm not going to mess my faction up with ogres, even though I don't really need to return here for anything. There might be a reason one day. I don't know. I'm not one to kill things just for the heck of it. So, yeah, my skill is almost... Uh, it's at 254 now got a bunch of skill ups just standing here begging used up all their money let's actually try to go in to a gawk i'll try to beg up from a few more uh people and see if anybody wants to attack come on fight me i don't know if merchants will try to attack okay he didn't do anything it just said unsuccessful, so I gotta wait for it to cool down. Oh, I've become uh, a completed uh, a gawk traveler. So this is the first time I've ever entered a gawk. What about the POD? Will he give me anything? Okay, unsuccessful. Bouncer back. Okay, again, leave me alone. I was successful at stealing uh, copper from him, apparently. Apparently begging is stealing again nothing now i know i could go and try this on mobs possibly what about the armadillo here you know that's something that i would normally kill if i it was unsuccessful begging from the armadillo okay okay let's see bouncer scon unsuccessful bouncer heron you know it's funny if you look at the the old models because this is what ogres used to look like before they got their facelift and it's kind of like they went on a diet it's like the slim fast ogre compared to the old ogre okay said so leave me alone but he gave me a copper so i guess there's there's just no way to get these guys to attack they like me too much i'm their friend and remember, you can never beg while on a mount. I guess that's sort of like, you know, riding in a BMW, pulling up to someone and asking them for some money. It would be like, yeah, no, dude, 
You got a Benz, all I got's a busket. So, I'm trying to uh, beg from uh, Thrang over here, and so far, no success. Nope. So, let's try uh, to find one more thing here. Let's, this armadillo over here, let's try to beg from him. Nope, nothing. Nothing from the armadillo. I mean, I don't expect an armadillo to have money. But maybe I would expect him to get angry because I'm begging from him. And he's like, I don't have anything. Why are you bothering me? And maybe attack, you know, try to nibble at my feet. Let me hop off the mount here because I see another armadillo. Nothing. I'm going to follow Thrang around and try to beg from him one more time. Uh, nothing. So I'm going to say that it looks like it doesn't uh, cause aggro. Because it's nothing has attacked me, and I've done this a bunch of times now. So, what do you guys think? Does have any of you, you know, heard anything about this? Do you know if begging no longer causes aggro? It could be just completely meaningless. And apparently, when you beg, you steal money, uh, which is bizarre because I never thought of that. Okay, so these guys are. The King Skeleton is indifferent. Let's try to beg from him. Nothing. Let's try to beg from the wolf. Nothing. What about Mr. Bup over here? Nothing. Let's try the innkeep. Nothing. So I think that's it, folks. I think I did enough testing. I'm going to say that it doesn't cause aggro anymore. What do you think? Do you have any proof? to say otherwise now this doesn't count for like project servers because like on p99 for example they're going by the old rules with old software so there's a good chance that uh begging over there would cause aggro but this is a regular live server like verona Vi, and it appears to not do anything it appears to not cause aggro at best, you get one copper each time. That's with a 255 begging skill. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, and, and again, if you know for a fact that the thing was nerfed or any aggro was removed, if you know where to find the patch notes, I'd love to see them because I've made a few videos where I said that the begging skill does cause aggro and if I'm incorrect I would love to add like a little note to any of those videos saying hey I was incorrect about this I was wrong about this I do not ever want to intentionally put out incorrect information I very much try to be right about everything and if I'm wrong about something I'm happy to add a note, like a comment under the video that I will pin that hopefully people would read and see that, okay, uh, Fez was wrong about this and, and there's the note. So thank you. Uh, let me know if you found this video interesting at all. And if you think it was a good idea to test this, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, give it a thumbs down. Whether you like or dislike the video, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment telling me what I did right or wrong in the video, what you would do to make it better. Uh, and again, any notes on this particular topic, if you know about the, uh, the aggro. Have you recently tried to beg off of somebody and you got aggro? Let me know. The, what zone it was in, what NPC it was in, and what race was your character, what race and class, and what level. So I can try to try it out myself, you know. Because who knows, maybe if I, I'm sure if I went into the High Elf City as an ogre, well, they would just attack me because I was an ogre. You also want to see what your faction standing was, and if that would matter at all. I don't know. Maybe it would only generate hate if you're actively fighting them or if they're uh, scowls threatening or scowls ready to attack, maybe that is part of it. I don't know. 
but uh, I'd love to I'd love to find out more if you know more I'd like to hear from you if you like what I do here and you'd like to support me and support the channel consider subscribing if you're not subscribed or you can join the channel as a channel member channel members get special perks and privileges like a link to join the private discord if YouTube memberships are not your thing Look in the description below the video for a link to the Patreon. Patreon patrons get similar perks, like a link to join the private Discord. There's also no ads or commercials over there on Patreon, so you get to see all the videos ad-free. There's a gnome trolling me over here. Hi Moffat, how you doing? I wonder if you'll end up seeing this video. You can also leave a super thanks. A super thanks is like a little mini donation that's saying thanks for the video. This was helpful. I appreciate you very much. I want to thank all our current YouTube channel members and Patreon patrons and anyone who's recently left a super thanks, a super like, a super chat during our live streams. Thank you very much for your support. It means the world to me. And, uh, and yeah, see, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Just thanks. I appreciate it very much. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.